23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines from across the county. Masks will be required this upcoming school year regardless of vaccination status for both students and teachers. The Kern County Superintendent of Schools making that announcement in a video statement saying they will follow the CDC's recommendations for the fall. That means that masks will be required, but social distancing will not. Uh, the good news is, though, is that the state has eliminated the requirement for social distancing which will allow for the upcoming school year to look a lot more normal. We'll see full day, five day a week in-person instruction, which has been um, something we haven't seen for 16 months or so. According to the superintendent's website, the vaccine will not be required to attend class. 23 ABC has reached out to private school districts for more information on their plans. We'll update you when we learn more. Well, GetBus says they'll be returning to night service on select routes starting next week. Routes 21, 22, 44, and 61, as well as on-demand paratransit routes, will operate from 6.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. during the week. They'll operate from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturday and Sundays. GetBus says they reduced hours last year as the pandemic began and hope to return to full service in the future. And your input is needed uh, before the county goes through redistricting. Next week, two virtual workshops will be held to discuss the process using data from the 2020 census. The first will be on Monday at 6 p.m. and the second is the following evening. Later this month, another meeting will take place both in person and virtually. That one will go over the tools that will eventually redraw the county districts. All right, now look at that weather. Another hot one today. We've been hovering just above average the last couple afternoons, and now this weekend, this high pressure is setting up over Vegas and climbing further north, dominating the forecast with hot and dry weather, but also wrapping around some of that moisture to take aim toward Kern County yet again by Sunday into Monday. So with that said, heading into the weekend, we have this fire weather watch. You see it's in effect for much of California, including our local valley and mountain locations. Sunday morning through Monday afternoon, so all day Sunday, all day Monday, we we have high evaporation rates with this dry and hot air as that monsoonal moisture comes crashing in. So that means that we have a lot of rain falling, but it's evaporating before it gets all the way to the ground. Those lightning strikes can still come all the way down to the ground, though. So we are very concerned about the fire threat. Gusty and erratic winds with thunderstorms are 40 miles an hour or faster, and that will fan any flames that spark up out there. So with 102 in the forecast for tomorrow, 100 on Sunday, we'll closely monitor that fire weather watch and those monsoonal thunderstorms as they take aim at Kern County. And that's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turner23.com.